What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the newly announced attributed string at dubdub 2021. So attributed strings have been around for a while but this year we've got some really great improvements. The most exciting of which is markdown support so I wanted to make a fairly brief video on it just talking about the new goodies that we got this year. So if that all sounds good make sure you start by destroying the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm rhythm hit subscribe if you're into ios and want to stick around for more that said let's get into some new attributed strings all right we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up xcode and creating a new project bear in mind this is xcode 13 beta we're gonna stick with the app template under ios and let's go ahead and give this project a name of attributed string updates you want to make sure your language is Swift and you can stick with Storyboard, which is UI kit for today's video. This also applies to Swift UI, but we'll just work with UI kit today. So an attributed string, for those of you who don't know, is a string that you can apply attributes to. What a surprise, super creatively named. So Swift 5.5 brings a host of new updates to attributed string uh, primarily just syntactical improvements and some other cool support uh, for applying different attributes to a string, things like, you know, different fonts and colors and things of that nature. But the thing that I'd like to focus on today is markdown support. So let's first of all go ahead and run this app in a simulator. So I'm going to stick with uh, the 12 Pro Max here. Go ahead and give this a build and run. And we're going to basically create a attributed string and uh, go ahead and assign it to a label. So let's go ahead and create our label here. It's going to be pretty basic. It's going to be a label with a frame 00, 00 220 by 220, just some arbitrary numbers. Let's go ahead and also make sure that this has number of lines as zero so it can line wrap. We're also going to add it as a sub view and then I'll go ahead and just center it in the UI. And here comes a fun part of attributed strings. So there is a new way to create an attributed string and we're gonna wanna do it in a do catch block because it can actually throw a exception. And we're gonna go ahead and say the string is either a NS attributed string or you could just use an attributed string directly. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it depends on the syntax of the API you're using. We're gonna want NS, but it works for both, uh, depending on UI Kit or Swift UI. And what you'll find in here is a new uh, API called with uh, Markdown Data or String. And we're gonna focus on focus on String. And for those of you who are familiar with Markdown already, this is basically a fairly common markup language. It's you know what people use on GitHub to stylize their readmes and whatnot. So. Let's go ahead and actually create a uh, attributed string and assign it to our label this way. So we're going to pass in something, but once we're done, we're going to say label.attributed string equals our string here. And let's go ahead and pass in a string. So what's nice is Markdown is a pretty common language and markup style, so people are aware of it. So let's go ahead and uh, actually, first of all, let me prefix this with a try so it stops yelling at me. Let's go ahead and add a string that's fairly common. So we're going to say, by continuing uh, in the app, in the app, comma, you hereby agree to our terms of service and privacy policy. Now privacy policy in terms of service obviously should be links here. So in Markdown, you can just put these in brackets and then you can put the URL right in front of it in parentheses. So I'm going to use google.com uh, as the kind of guinea pig URL today. And we're going to do the same for privacy policy here. Let's go ahead and put that in brackets. And then here we'll go ahead and pass in, you know, some URL. Maybe we'll do apple.com. And if we go ahead and give it a run, what you'll notice is that the attributed string actually properly stylized our uh, two links here without us having to apply styles to them directly. It basically picked up on the fact that they are links per the markup language, and this is what they should look like. 
So that's the exciting new addition to attributed strings. Now, like I mentioned, you can create these as either NS attributed strings or another uh, attributed string without the NS. And more or less, it just depends on the signature you're using. But let's go ahead and click into attributed string as well, just to see all the new cool stuff that is available to us. So there are other ways that we can actually stylize the attributed string. There's actually a whole list of APIs here that you can go ahead and uh, apply. You can append different attributes. None of that has actually changed. One thing that I will mention though, let's see if I can actually click into it to show you guys. Attributed string is actually a value type now, which uh, might not sound like a big deal, but it actually is. Uh, and Apple's kind of push for value types, especially with Swift UI, you'll notice that this thing is a struct. Um, it is actually a fairly big deal. It matters in terms of passing around these uh, objects as well as you know equating them since they're no longer reference types. So one really big improvement that we got there, it also helps in the sense uh, of just manipulating and mute mutating it. So we can set attributes similar as before. We can merge attributes, replace attributes, etc., etc. So I'm not going to go too deep into it since basically links uh, underline, you know, bolding and italicizing are the common attributes that people take. You can go ahead and use markdown. You, I believe it's underscores to italicize. You can use this asterisk on either side of a word to bold it, so on and so forth. So I'll probably leave it here. There is a very good talk uh, that covers attributed string from WWDC last week. I'm going to link it down below if I remember to, hopefully. If I forget, someone please yell at me in the comments and I'll bump it. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I've got for you guys today. Pretty short and to the point video. If you enjoyed the video and haven't done so already, drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and want to stick around. Lots of new dub dub videos and kind of walkthroughs to come as soon as I find more time to record these videos. But definitely stick around by hitting subscribe. And of course, comment if you have any questions, video suggestions, feedback, any particular thing you'd like to see. Love making content that you guys want to actually see and get value from. So. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.